Hello and welcome back. This is uh, Funny Bones from 3DMN.com, aka 3D Movie Maker. If you're following along with the old 3DMN tutorials, then that's good. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to. In this video, we'll, we will learn how to install 7 Gen so you can make models so that you can put them into V3DMM. So, let's go. <clears throat> So to um to download 7 gen to download the 7 gen package first you need to go to your web browser and if you don't remember go back to go to the 3dmm studio here and click utilities and scroll down until you find find the 7 gen expansion pack there is the 7 gen package this will uh, create loads of things like um new actors for your it says here you can create your own actors and backgrounds and 3D words and textures. You can also have Quake 2 models, so you download that one, the 7 gen package. And if I were you, I would extract it, because you have to extract it really. So you click OK. It's going to do all that. It's going to do all that. <clears throat> now that it's done, you go back to your downloads. You go into the 7 gen, oops. You go into the 7 gen folder. <coughs> now you want to extract it. So you click here, extract to. And you click OK. And leave it do that. Leave it do all that, OK? Once it's done, you can close it. Go to the folder where you've extracted it. That's your downloads folder, by the way. And there is. You might have to extract this again. So, whenever you see a zip file like this, you need to extract it. Okay? In order to use 7 gen. So, you extract that. Hit OK again. Let it do all that, okay? Just let it do all that, because you have to do that to use 7 gen. And there you go. Now, you can't use 7 gen yet. You need to install Python and Pi games. So first you need to install Python on your computer in order to do this. In order to make new actors and stuff. So, so Python, uh, this will work on anything. You hit next. Um, uh, this is not really important, so just click no. Don't make backups of this, because that's what I do. So you click next, you click next, 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 and there you are. It's installing Python 23 on your computer. And after when you've finished installing Python, you've got to install Pi Game next after this, and then you're ready to go. And then you're ready to go. And I'll show you what um, 7 gen, what you do in 7 gen then, okay? It's amazing, you can make actors and props, you know, you can make yourself in 3DMM, you can also make your own custom backgrounds, um, <clears throat> you can make textures, and you can also. Um, <clears throat> make you know um quake 2 models now quake 2 is basically a game if if you ever heard of it it's like doom but quake 2 models can go into 3dmm you just go to md2 v md2 vxp in order to import them so yeah <clears throat> Okay, so now it's installing. Again, do not touch anything. Just let it do it. Okay, let it do its thing. Let the computer do it for you. I know it may take forever, but it's going to install it all. So, yeah. Now, sometimes you might you might get problems um you might get problems about 
uh, in the future with 7 Gen because it says you can't make actors because of the ID because sometimes that gets broken. So in the next video I might make a tutorial of how to show you how to get 7 Gen working by updating it by downloading a new Python and Pi game. But um <clears throat> yeah. So it's almost done now. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm not lying. I really think 3DMM is a brilliant program. If you were like me, 3DMM is very easy. If you haven't seen 3DMM, you should search it up on YouTube because there actually is a tutorial how to make 3DMM movies on there and stuff using standard 3D Movie Maker uh, by Mr. Nutt. Uh, Mr. Nutt is the person who made that uh, YouTube video, so yeah. It's on 61% now, it's on 62. <clears throat> I know it's probably going to go a bit slow because I'm running the screen capture too because I'm showing you what to do, so yeah. It's on 67 now. It's nearly there now, it's on 70 now. You can see it's going quick now. It's on 86. It's on 93 now. It's nearly done. And there you go, it's it's finished. So now you just click finish and now you need to install Pi Game after when you've done that. So you so you click you run Pi Game Pi Game sixteen, you click you click next, click next again, and you click next. And now it's installing Pi Game. And there you go, and then you click finish, and there you are, 7 Gen's all ready to go. So now back, go into your 7 Gen folder and click this snake thing to run 7 Gen. So this is 7 Gen, as you can see. Now you've got a list here. Now actor extractor, it says you can extract 3DMM actors and and props and modif and for modifying stuff like this as well. 
Now, um, seven gen actor extractor. You can let's say if you wanted to make actors like um, a Alexander Cowboy, like that professor you just saw. You you basically like find a cowboy on the in find a cowboy uh, suit on the internet and then just stick him in it. You know what I mean? So yeah, you can modify actors. This doesn't replace the 3DMM actors. This just makes your own ones. You can make uh, background scenes, textures, you can make campans, you can convert Jedi Knight levels to props, and it says there you can convert Quake 2 models to to actors and props, you can convert OBJs which are props to props, and you can create a single coloured scene, scene background like green screen effects and all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, I'm going to do the actor extractor, so you go into the actor extractor, decide which one you want, because you've got the exact actors on 3DMM here. I will be using, for a test, I'll be using, I will be using uh, Frank for this test. Click generate ID. and write what your expansion name which your important name is going to be I'll type Frank test because it's just a test I write the person who made it I, I'll write my name my nickname in funny bones because that's me who made it and the short name we're going to call this funny bones no sorry uh, funny funny bones Funny Bones Funny Bones Test Frank So it means when you post it on 3dmm.com you have to do this So you need to put your like nickname like you know like for example Funny Bones and then Test Frank to do this and then you click extract actor and prop. Oh, hang on, what just what just happened? Hmm. Let, let me try again. Let let me try doing Benedict. This is just going to be a test anyway, so this isn't going to be posted up on 3DML. This is just a test. Nah. Now you see that's what happens when you get problems with the original 7 gen because the you know the ID doesn't work because it stops it working. But don't worry. So that's how you get um. 7 gem working but in the next video I'm going to explain how to up update the 7 gem why it's not working so stay tuned for that bye